Good Thursday, April 30th, uh, Woodruff Road, Christian Church, Friends and Family. Uh, Chris here outside with a real plant side chat. Uh, got these in for microphone use because, you know, the birds have zero respect for scheduling and um, nature. Anyways, if I get struck down uh, by a tree or attacked by birds, let this be my last will and testament. Billy, you get my roller skates. Uh, Steve, you get nothing. I never lived like you. Okay. In uh, another weird statement uh, is that took a really weird turn all of a sudden. I, I follow the Pope on Twitter. Yeah, I know. So that's amongst uh, the weirdest statement I may make today. Uh, it's still early. He tweeted this this morning, and it has been um, really working on me. He says this, Christianity is not only a doctrine – a way of behaving, a culture. Yes, it is also these things, but the core of Christianity is an encounter, the encounter with Jesus. A Christian is a person who has encountered Jesus Christ and was open to that encounter. I kind of was blown away. I said, wow, that's, I, I need to chew on this more because uh, too often we treat Christianity and this idea of what we want Christianity to be like doctrine, a way of behaving, or just culture. We'd rather stick a, a bumper sticker on our car than write the words of God on our hearts. We'd rather wear the right t-shirt or sing the right songs or have the right schedule and habits than have a deep soul-cutting encounter with Jesus Christ that opens up the dark areas of our hearts to his light and his presence. And so the question that I'm asking myself and I'm, I'm asking here kind of in this universal digital way is what do you want Christianity to be? Uh, is, is, is this a social club? Is it something that we can take it or leave it? Is it something that we can uh, kind of sprinkle on to the meat of our lives uh, for flavoring? Well, here's another weird analogy is – Christianity and our faith, just the potatoes to our meat? Is it just a side dish to how we choose to live our lives? Is it something that that doesn't shape us, but kind of augments us or complements our lifestyle? Christianity cannot be that for us. If if Christianity has been just a social club or only exists in your life because of a building or a weekend routine, well, I'm betting you're not watching this video anyways so I can talk about you. That is a, a shallow encounter with Christ. That's, that's, that's like waving at Jesus across the crowd and then going back about your business, whether that's collecting taxes, judging everybody else for clamoring, trying to get close to Jesus – what do we want Christianity to be? I want it to be an encounter with Christ that shapes the deepest part of my soul. That hurts. That's a painful thing to endure. That's why we talk about baptism uh, as the death immersion into a life of Jesus Christ. Death to the old self. Rising again a new creation. That is not an easy or trivial process. It is a painful process process. Death is final. But in Christianity, with an encounter in Christ, we are given something new. We are risen up as a new creation. That doesn't work in a social club. See, a social club, you you attend regularly, get your little checkbox for attending. They take attendance. You pay your dues, check. You vote in the meeting. I agree we should get a soda machine in the narthex. And then you go about your business and the rest of your life is not impacted by that attendance, by that moment. Christianity is an encounter, the encounter with Jesus. A Christian is a person who has encountered Jesus Christ and was open to that encounter. Look at the change that Zacchaeus had in Luke's gospel. Zacchaeus wanted to just wave and see Jesus from a distance, but instead he had an up-close encounter where those dark places in his heart were opened up to the light of Christ and he became a changed man.
everything was different. He gave generously from what he had hoarded. He served sacrificially while he, instead of being isolated and taking care of himself. Sin was washed away because the presence of Jesus Christ came into his life. Church, as we both wrestle with this odd time still, as we wrestle with isolation, as we wrestle with our routines being thrown into left field, we must think about faith and Christianity and what it is we want to go back to when things, when doors start to open up again. We cannot allow ourselves to be just as it was. You cannot allow me to help perpetuate and create the system again of just social club Christianity. We must find ourselves embraced by the power, sacrificial love, generosity, mercy, and grace of Jesus Christ. And we must be reborn and redefined by it. See you later, church.